Bob Gray. Take the same systems and techniques that I use simply to set up credibility and adapt it and apply it to this industry. Anything that, that will make you more effective or more efficient. It's nice, neat little boxes. That's how we like it up here. The moment something strange, odd, weird happens, whether you like it or not, your memory instantly wakes up and takes hold of the image. It does all the work for you. For me to give you an idea, a little glimpse into this potential, I have to break these chains of conditioning that you've had since you were children. I'm in the Guinness Book for something that's just so stupid. <laughs> it really is. I'm the only human on the planet who can write extemporaneously, upside down, upside down and backwards, laterally inverted, mirror styled, with both hands and feet simultaneously while blindfolded. <laughs> Which begs the question, why? <laughs> Actually to become a Canadian, to be honest with you. <laughs> Just don't share that with Ottawa. Okay, anybody at all, please give me any independent nation on the planet, any country that has its own flag. Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Oh, sorry? Uzbekistan. Okay, Afghanistan, perfect. <laughs> all right. Okay, we can go with Uzbekistan, if you like. Uzbekistan. Mm, nah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> something like that. Okay, how about some really remote little country like England? <laughs> <laughs> like some African remote nation or... Eritrea. What was that? Eritrea. 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 Uh, how would you spell that, ma'am? It'd be an E. E. <laughs> e. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got the easy part. <laughs> Must be a new country. Yep. Uh, it's actually the first time I've ever been given it. Mark, could you please, without looking up here, could you give us the capital of Afghanistan? That would be Kabul. Okay, population? 20.7 million. And the area in square miles? 250,000 square miles. No, save it, save it. <laughs> Hang on. They just got invaded by Nigeria. <laughs> It'll be on the news, I'm telling you. Watch. Um, Uzbekistan, please. The, the capital city um, is Tashkent. Population? 24.1 million. And the area in square miles? 172,742 square miles. All right, and hang on. Can I poll the audience or phone a friend? No, you know what? <laughs> we go back to the original. Okay, capital of, <laughs> capital of Eritrea. Esmara. Population? 5.8 million. And the area in square miles? 46,843 square miles. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Mark, very much. There's a copy of my book. Thank you so much, appreciate it. And chapter four shows you how to do that.
For over 25 years, he has astounded his keynote and workshop audiences with his remarkable memory and unusual abilities. He has entertained and educated audiences in more than 20 countries across six continents, quickly teaching large and small groups how to develop a trained memory and have a lot of fun doing it. All business is based on credibility and relationships. Right? I mean, as long as you know the products are good, which obviously they are, and ethics and morals are in check, I mean, everything else to me is based on relationships and credibility. And memory systems absolutely allow you to do that. More intelligent than any computer, the average human brain has 100 billion neurons and 100 trillion connections. Why, then, is it so hard to remember the names of customers, clients, patients, or neighbors when you bump into them at the supermarket? Why don't product numbers, prices, and presentations automatically come to mind when you need them? Sincerely, the one thing you have to take away from this presentation this afternoon is absolutely guaranteed 100% each and every one of you is capable of doing that. My name is Bob Gray, I'm a memory consultant, and what I do essentially is I help people work more efficiently and more effectively through better recall. Anybody give me any word at all, not too long, because I have to do it with both hands, but just something like, you know, mum, <laughs> dad, Bob. No, it, it, can be about, it can be three or four syllables, anything at all, anybody. Sorry? Optometry. What was that one? <laughs> All right, optometry, which is urate et homo. All right, okay, optometry. Backwards. <laughs> optometry. Now, upside down with the left hand. Upside down and backwards with the right hand, simultaneously. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> but I'm actually working right now. <laughs> and, and you're watching. <laughs> I'm actually clocked in. My mum would be so proud, I'm telling you. All right. Optometry, You can take notes. <laughs> then I became a Canadian. Thank you very much. Bob Gray, an internationally acclaimed expert in memory systems, shows you how to tap into the vast power of the mind. You can work more effectively, efficiently, and professionally. Firms bring people like myself in to show their employees how to think out of the box. They still use the out of the box, the debona. The thing is, we construct the box. The first nail in the building of that box is hammered the moment you take away color pictures, creativity from the learning process. The more stupid, the more crazy, the more ridiculous the image, the quicker the recall, and this is because of conditioning. We're conditioned through, through repetition, through experience, to expect certain things to be a certain way. Whether it's that group of random five digits, or, or, or new points you want to remember in a presentation, or the area of Zimbabwe. What it does is it turns them all into convenient chunks, so as you can capitalize on this ability that every one of you has right now that's just waiting for this little associated key to open it up. Bob Gray 